Our top news this week. Blackmagic Design announced a new top-of-the-range studio camera and two new Atom production switchers. The new Blackmagic Design Studio Camera 6K Pro is equipped with a Canon EF mount and features a 6K Super 35 sensor paired with built-in ND filters. The camera has plenty of pro connectivity, including 12G SDI in and out, balanced XLR inputs with phantom power and a 10 gig Ethernet connection for power and camera control via a single cable. The new camera also features built-in live streaming capability, allowing it to generate an H.264 HD live stream from a remote location and send the signal over the internet back to the studio. The company also announced two new all-in-one live production Atom switchers, the Television Studio HD8 and ISO models. Both combine extreme portability and advanced broadcast features, including built-in streaming and complex sound mixing. In addition, the ISO model can also connect and control remote cameras such as the new Studio 6K Pro model and change ND filters among many other control features. Tiffin has announced a couple of new diffusion filters for digital cinema cameras. The new Tiffin Black Fog filters soften the highlights while retaining the black's black without overly muting colors or losing detail in the shadows. This more gentle effect can be used to add an overall romantic or even magical look to a project. On the other hand, the new night fog filters produce a natural fog effect with overall atmospheric softening and white flare, coupled with unique contrast reduction technology that reduces highlights without darkening shadows. This particular filter is very useful when shooting day for night, as with a strong grade, it helps flatten the contrast and desaturates color in a more natural way. Panavision is testing their upcoming large format primes on a few notable productions. And while official details are yet to be released, according to a recent report on YM Cinema, the new lenses will be called the VA large format primes and will feature a super fast aperture of T1.4. A prototype 80mm lens was spotted on a few big productions, such as the Menu, Spirited and the National Treasure series. The prototype lenses were paired on these productions with the Sony Venice and the Panavision Millennium DXL2 cameras, and the cinematographers working on these projects were impressed with the lens's lightweight and compact design and pleasing organic look, the combination of which made them perfect for Steadicam and handheld work. And that's all we have for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.